Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into my 2022 handbag reorganization. I've already kind of gone through and decided what I'm parting with so you'll notice some empty holes when I show you the before but I have a few new bags that need a new home and I just feel like it needs a refresh. I'll also be sharing some handbag organization tips throughout this video. If you have any questions about the organization or the process you can leave it in the comments below. And by the way if you're new here, hi my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle so if that's your thing please subscribe and turn on notifications and let's get into my handbag storage reorganization so I just want to show you how it looks before I've got most of my big bags here on the bottom with some bags that are a little more off season and that I don't use as often. I've got my handbag drawer where I store my Kelly laying down and you know just other little bits. Two trays for my twillies and that's where I tie my twillies on my handbag. These first two shelves are like what you guys see on my YouTube background. I've got my cocoa handles having their own shelf with you know some tiny little bags on the side and a mix of my favorite like pastel-y colorful bags with some sparkle bags here. Above that this was another Chanel shelf until I overexpanded. Up here we kind of move to the sideways view because I couldn't show all of my bags on display like these three shelves. I have some space up here because I did part with a few bags. I've also parted with one that was over there. So I do have some room and I also bought some risers. Let me show you that. So you can't even hardly see these on camera. Let me hold one up. These are acrylic risers. They're in different heights. I'm going to try them out on some of the upper shelves. Maybe this will give me more visibility like up here or there and they will be linked in my Amazon store in the description below. First step is to take all of these out put them on the floor and just start from scratch. And also I needed to show you a few bags. These two new ones need a home on there. This is an old Juicy Couture bag that I'm excited to wear again. Mine is like originally from the early 2000s and I've held on to it. So I want to try to incorporate that. It's usually in my fashion archive storage. It has a spot, but it's the latest bag I've been using. So it's just not currently in the storage. So I need to put that away, find a spot for this old bag that I have that used to be in a different cabinet and find a home for these two bags as well. So here is the organization empty. Now I didn't empty the Twilly shelves because I'm not in need of reorganizing that and my junk drawer where I dump all of my stuff like at the end of the day that's in my bag and my Kelly that's all living there in my SLG. Got some bags over here. We've got the rest of my bags over here. Sorry, I've got lights set up on the side because it's sandstorming today, so I'm getting no natural light. I do have some bags in this corner and I have a few bags that are happier hung up here. Excuse the lights, but I keep my Chanel Beach tote and my YSL tote here on the side of my rolling rack. I have already dusted the shelves. These don't get very dusty. That's what I wanted to say about the handbag storage. It's always better to have them behind doors. I chose glass doors because I'm the type of person if I don't see See it I don't use it glass doors really help keep the dust away but also where you can see your bags so I really love that for handbag storage I also if you notice sorry that's my project table over there but these are my windows they stay shut most of the day this one gives a bad glare for filming so it's shut right now but I keep them shut when I'm not in the room and I also store them away from the window like these do not face the window the only windows are here and on the other side of this same wall so you want to store your bags outside of the sunlight. I know it looks very aesthetic to have your outfit pictures with your bags in the back with your handbags opposite a window, but that's really not good for them long term. So, so I'm going to start with the bottom shelves because they're simply just some bags that only fit in the bottom. These are my bigger bags. Put the pullout trays in so that I could reach to the back. So these are also where I like to store more seasonal or winter type of bags that I don't use as often. I also store like organizers and extra pouches in my totes. And I do have my key ball and I wanted to try to fit it in here. So let's see if we can do that as well. 
It might have to be removed by the end of all this organizing, but let's see if we can do it. Oh, and I always leave, even if the space is like less than a centimeter, I always leave room between bags. I don't let them sit and rest against each other, especially if they're leather or patent leather because that can cause color transfer. I am going to put my vintage Louis Vuitton in my like archive storage. I don't use brown, you guys know that, but I love this bag because it's from my mom and it's so old. So I'm gonna store this in that other storage. I just really don't need it in this storage. I've also decided to put these little bags in my storage because I think they're a cute little piece of fashion, but I don't really use them that often and I think if I want to use them, I can go into my archives and pull them out. Okay, this is very, very, very close, but this is the bottom story. So I keep my white bags and my patent leather bags in their dust bags because it just keeps them cleaner and neater. So these can go in the back. And I wanna to try to file my bags like this way for this tray so it's a little bit more visually pleasing from the front and I can see more of my bag. Actually, I'm gonna come back to this shelf because I need to decide what's going up and what's staying down. So this is the thing, this thing never goes to plan. However, I wanna do it in my head I just rearrange and rearrange, so bear with me, it's gonna happen. So this was a point where I just was like so overwhelmed. I had tried rearranging so many times and I still wasn't like getting it right. I think it's just difficult when I know I've outgrown this cupboard to place them aesthetically. I could place them one behind the other but it's just not going to look as nice so I'm trying here to find a good balance of having like a YouTube display for those two bottom shelves that you can see in the display but I really just don't want to add another cabinet or anything because we will be moving again soon so when I do finally do a proper walk-in closet rather than an Ikea system in my office slash closet, I will have more room and I'll know you know, how many bags I have, leave some extra space, but I think that makes it harder to organize when you have really run out of space but you still need to try to make it look aesthetic. If I wasn't trying to make it look so aesthetic for my YouTube background, I could probably do this a lot faster and easier and it wouldn't really matter quite as much. I would just try to make them easily reachable, most likely put them in a line how I have the top two shelves on here. But I have been collecting for more than 16 years, closer to 17 years now, and I just love my bags, and I don't wanna get rid of them just because I'm a little bit out of space and the display isn't looking as aesthetically pleasing as I like. I know eventually I'll have proper storage and room for them, so, Right now I'm trying to make it work as best I can for you know my content creation and being able to reach my bags and see my bags. So it definitely will get better, but for now this is me trying to do the best and fit them all inside. We are finally done. Can you believe it? 
This took me forever, so let me take you off the tripod and show you shelf by shelf. So top row are mostly fall bags, travel bags here in the corner. My Chanel nylon is there, which I do use a lot, but it just went with the colors up here better. The next shelf are little smaller colorful bags. New Louis Vuitton found a home in the corner there, so that was perfect. Then on the next shelf, I did like a pastel kind of shelf. Um, I'm working on my pastel rainbow of bags, but obviously I don't have much more room on that shelf. Then we go down to, I wanted to keep the cocoa handles together, but I had to add some more bags on there because I just didn't have room for them all. Then a more colorful shelf here. I used some of the risers in the back for the Saint Laurent and also for the rainbow re-edition there. And when you come down to the bottom, let me show you each shelf. Here we have the bags that need to stay in dust bags there, a clutch propped up against the bag, my Chloe backpack, some bags lined up here. These are touching, but that's a fabric, that's a raffia, canvas, and black. Like They're not going to bleed together, so there is space between these two. It's just hard to see, but the rest of them have just like the teeniest, tiniest bit of space between each one. The bottom shelf, I keep all my Neverfull, my Givenchy, Kate Spade, my Cabocines, my on the go, which is more of a travel bag, and some little raffia bags on the corner like that. I keep my uh, Prada backpack in here and my Kelly insert. So that is there. I will go ahead and show you. This is my top Twilly drawer. It stayed the same. This Twilly drawer, which also has my scarves. Truly took far too long and I had to redo it so many times. I gave up on the time lapse and I hope this kind of explained my like logic, even though it's not perfect. I have too many bags for the space. I'm actually debating changing the shelf to like a pull out tray so it's easier to get the bags in the back. The ones above, it's a little bit harder to do a pull out tray. I have to reach in the back anyways with like a step stool so it doesn't really make sense. I wanted to show you, this is why I did the glass because when I stand here, I'm looking at about like eye level here around this area. And when I look up at my bags, I can see what's there from below. And that's really helpful when I'm going to like pick them out. There is wasted space in the top. I could store some bags there that I'm not using as often, but I prefer to just store away the bags that I don't use often in another cabinet. Just one final look and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and got some great useful tips out of it. If you did, please give it a like and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style my bags. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.